Hey, what's up everyone? A uh, second video, wanted to show you guys my pipe collection. So, like I said in my first video, uh, I've uh, accumulated these pipes. Uh, I got a lot of like 10 or so on eBay once, and then the other ones have just been single purchases or two here and there. Um, but I wanted to get some to kind of fix up and uh, used uh, some ideas from Laughter1099, David's um, refurbishing videos. So I've done a few things. I, I've done salt and alcohol treatments to the bowls and reamed them out and um, used a polish from uh, walkerbriarworks.com, I think. His name's David also. He does refurbishing. Uh, got a uh, stem cleaner and then also a bowl polisher um, that's worked real well. Um, so here, we'll, we'll, we'll show them off. And, um, a lot of them are kind of no names, but... Uh, that's all right. I haven't smoked any that I, I didn't like or uh, didn't think they were good smokes. So here's the first one. This is a uh, white-tailed jumbo. I uh, haven't smoked it yet. But uh, we'll keep going. Um, this is one of the no-names. Uh, it's a sitter pipe, but uh, the stem is, as you can, might be able to tell, is a little loose, so I need to tighten that up. Um, so it still needs some work. Uh, this next one is a, just says a red dot imported briar, um, but here it is, just a, a little shorter pipe. Uh, and the next one's kind of weird, it, it looks like it's in really good shape and hasn't been smoked much, but I am completely confused on it, haven't seen anything like it. So here it is, um, it just says a... Briar TV pipe? T TV pipe. That's all it says. Uh, it has this little stub on it here at the end that, that I guess is supposed to be what you smoke out of, but it seems like way too small of a bit to burn uh, cool. But anyway, if anybody has seen anything like this or has any suggestions on what in the world it is, I would happily uh, like to hear about that. Um, okay, so let's keep going. Um, Here's a small, stubby one, probably machine-made. Um, it it kind of has this machine rustication on it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it smokes pretty good. Uh, here's a, a little miniature pipe that I thought was hilarious when I got it. It's really small. But um, it's actually great for a little 10 or 15 minute smoke. Uh, it smokes really cool even for how short it is. Um, here is another small the vest pocket pipe. I haven't smoked it this yet. This is the kind of pipe uh, that my father-in-law likes to smoke. Uh, my wife and I actually got him a new one um, for his birthday a couple years ago. Um, here's a Wally. It's here, uh, yeah, Wally Frank uh, Rhodesian. Um, it looks pretty nice. I haven't smoked it yet. It needs a little more work on the stem. Um, it has some rim charring too. So. We'll work on that. Um, let's see. Here's the K Woody that I had in a previous video. See. Seen that? Uh, here's the. This just uh, doesn't say anything on it except for I think London somewhere. This is the pipe I had just smoked. Has a little bit of a not rustication but a little divot design there, and then it has a rough top on it. Just smoked the fire dance flake in it, which ended up being a, a great bowl. Uh, smoked all the way down and it was great. Um, let's see here. here's, I got a lot of three pipes that came, um, together, they're unsmoked, so they came from a tobacco shop that was closing down, and said so they're from the 70s, I don't know if that's true, um, but they're in really good condition, uh, but I don't know anything else about them. One is, this here kind of has a, kind of a strange bowl on it, where the, the stem looks like it's coming at the top, but if you, it bends down real sharp, and I don't know if you can... If I can get any light, mm, nope. Uh, but I mean, the hole is still at the bottom of the bowl. Um, but looks kind of cool. I haven't smoked it yet. Uh, here's another one of those. Looks like a full bent. It's pretty. Uh, it's a large pipe for for my collection. It's one of the largest ones I have. I don't think it's quite an um Paul, and it has this nice cylindrical bowl um, on it. But it is a sitter, um, and. Um, kind of had to clean up the stem quite a bit. I wish I had before shots of these because that uh, the cleaner from Walker Briarworks just works awesome. 
the last one from that is just a straight billiard. Um, it has a, a nice uh, wax polish on the bowl still, um, unsmoked. Um, had to clean up the stem again pretty pretty uh, good. It was pretty dark. Um, so here is a uh, just a Bruyere uh, granite. has some nice rustication on it. It's just a straight kind of billiard shape again. Uh, here's a, another one of the larger pipes I have. It's a Vermilion Club. Uh, it has some, some kind of design, not exactly rustication, but then it's smooth on the very top. I guess this would be a Lovett or Lovat um, shape. Um, um, would, if you guys know for sure, that'd be great to let me know. I'm not very familiar with all the shapes. Here's my bent Chesterfield that I've smoked in another video. Here's a, uh, it says a Corsica. Um, kind of has this, I don't know if it's an apple shape, but it's kind of a half bent here. And also on this side of the stem, there's a star. Just a, a, a regular uh, star, nothing special about it, but I don't know what that means. Uh, I guess that's the Corsica sign. Um, let's see here. Of course, like every good smoker, I had a corn cob. Um, I smoke it for outdoor uh, walks with my dog and things like that. So, Missouri Meerschaum. Uh, then I have an Oompal um, by. Uh, I'm gonna butcher this. The Boots Shokin or Butts Chokin. Yeah, sorry, I, I can't pronounce it, but I uh, haven't smoked it yet, but I, I think it'd be a nice smoke. Uh, then, so that's all my pipes. Uh, I know it kind of flew through there, but uh, I didn't want to bore you. Uh, then lastly, the I wanted to show this. Um, it's a cigar holder by Dr. Graybow, or, uh, yeah, Graybow. Um, kind of cool, I haven't tried it yet. I. I don't need it. I, I like to smoke cigars just with the cigar in my mouth. Um, but I thought this was kind of cool. It came with a lot of pipes uh, along with a pipe, couple pipe nails and then a couple extra stems that uh, don't fit any of the pipes, but maybe I can use them sometime. So yeah, that's the pipe collection. Um, hopefully I'll uh, smoke a few more of these. I got a buddy who I uh, uh, told him I'd, I'd hook him up with one of these pipes. Um, I, I think he had his eye on this one, the uh, straight billiard, excuse me, from uh, the tobacco shop that says they're from, they're French pipes, but there's no writing on them. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's the pipe collection, and then uh, lastly I said I had another brain teaser for you, so here it is, uh, second brain teaser. Um, this one is... Uh, um, kind of a math brain teaser, uh, not too bad though, just just simple subtraction and addition. Um, the goal of this brain teaser is to measure out four gallons of water using only a five gallon and a three gallon bucket. So you have unlimited water, say a, a hose, um, then you have a five gallon bucket and a three gallon bucket, and using that you want to measure out exactly four gallons. Um, so there it is. Um, good luck, and I'll have the answer in the next video. See you guys.